Hi, thank you for joining me today for a very quick process video and today I'm joining in the Hey Little Magpie Chat and Inspiration group on Facebook, the monthly challenge set by Giselle. And Giselle's challenge was to use at least three frames on a layout. So first of all, I'm going to create the background. You can see here, so I grabbed my Weathered Wood Distress Oxide and my brayer. And I just rolled the brayer onto the ink several times um, to get good coverage on that brayer roller and then um, rolled it up and down the page, focusing on a central spot more or less in the middle. Then I went over it with some water to activate those oxides. And you see there, I just um, mopped up the excess water with some kitchen towel. Now I'm coming in with this darkroom door uh, stamp. <laughs> I couldn't think what it was called. It's got script all over it. And I'm just using the pink tattered rose distress oxide to add some text all over that background. And it's just very subtle, but it just provides another layer really. And then finally, I'm coming back with weathered wood. I've watered it down and I'm adding some splatters using a small paintbrush all over. Just again, another layer on that background. So I've left that to dry. And now I'm going to build up my um, layout. This is just a three by four photo of one of Amelia's friends dancing in our back garden. It was their 17th, uh, sorry, 16th birthday <laughs> last year. And they had everybody over for a sleepover. And this was them just having fun in the garden. So it's a very, very quick layout, doesn't need a lot of uh, explanation really, it's going in Amelia's album. So I just took this 3 by 4 photo, um, added some tissue paper behind it, just to provide that separation between the photo and the background. And it's going to go there, and then these frames have been cut from 49 and Market Papers, I forget which one it is now. And um, these are the new frames coming soon at Hey Little Magpie at their really nice size to use on layouts and also that film strip frame is another one that's from the new dies coming soon to hey little magpie and then these florals are the dies that we've already got in stock these i've designed exclusively for hey little magpie and again just cut them from scraps of 49 market papers these papers are just gorgeous for die cutting because of the variation in the colors it's almost like a watercolor paper and it just works really nicely. And then you can see I'm layering things up and then that cow parsley that I've put on the top, I actually cut from white cardstock. I've got a pretty little embroidered leaf there that I've added to the right hand side. And then the um, title is Dance Like No One Is Watching. I just typed on my We Are Memory Keepers typewriter onto some white card and that's going to overlap on the left hand side. So just use my T-square ruler to check that the photo is straight and then I'll stick everything else down. And I will pop in the description box down below um, all the dies that I've used and also the um, Hey Little Mike Pie Chat and Inspiration group on Facebook. Do come over and join us. We set challenges every month. As I say, today's um, challenge is by Giselle and it's to use at least three frames. And you're in with a chance of winning a hundred, sorry, a thousand magpie points if you join in, which is worth 10 pounds to spend at the shop. And we've got plenty of digital products as well as physical. So if you're outside the UK, you can still treat yourself to something from the shop there. So just getting all these stuck down, I wanted to tuck some of the long stems underneath the frames here. Um, so just made sure that I could pull that bottom smaller frame up and then adding glue, not all the way along the flower, just to the stem predominantly, just so that it can still um, stand proud from the layout. And you can see I've used different colors just for a bit of variation on there. And I just love these florals. You will have seen me using them a lot already and I shall continue to use them. I think they're so versatile, brilliant for creating little bouquets for flowers, uh, for greetings cards and things but also on layouts just to add a bit of dimension and a little subtle bit of interest there next to a photo. So I'm um, just gluing that little embroidery leaf down and then adding this title and that's pretty much it. I will add some splatters and some enamel dots again just for a little bit of interest and different textures on the layout. So first of all, I wanted to add the date, of course. So using my roller date stamp, I'm just going to add it underneath the photo there. I didn't want it to be too obvious. I didn't want to take away from the simplicity of the design. And then these are some enamel dots, um, some glitter enamel dots from Hey Little Magpie. Just adding three at the bottom and three at the top there. 
just dotting them around and I've gone for the white ones so that they're very again very subtle on that background and then finally as I say I'm just going to cover up the photo and then add some gold splatters so using one of the paler golds that I've got rather than a very bright gold um, just going in with a small paintbrush and adding those all the way around focusing on the top and bottom of the layout but then sprinkling them around the edge as well so I've got that nice vertical layout going on that I love so much and that's pretty much it so thank you so much for joining me please do come and join our Facebook group and join in on the challenge each month other than that I shall see you very soon thanks again bye